And here is this week's Pokey Post. So it's an absolutely stacked week for post again. We've got English stuff, we've got Japanese things, all sorts of wonderful Pokemon cards. And at the end of the video, guys, I'm so excited. We're going to be opening up four EV Heroes booster packs. Finally, we're getting some EV Heroes to open. Only some packs I purchased off someone in the UK, but I'm very happy to get hold of those. I'll talk a bit more about our upcoming EV Heroes stuff later. And uh, yes, we've got some really epic things to show you. So also in this week, at the same time, um, we got some of the high class Gengar VMAX decks or in Japan, it's just called Gengar, <laughs> open Gengar style. Do, do, do. Yes, but um, this has got a chance to have the special art Gengar VMAX. I'll put that on the screen here. And we've got a few of these back in stock. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be opening up the double Gengar Inteleon one when it arrives. But if you want your own Gengar high class VMAX deck, head to our website, Place Get Games dot com and another interesting thing that's arrived this week so i don't normally do like non-pokemon tcg related stuff but look at this cool like japanese like figurine thing it's quite big it's taking a lot of space so i'm gonna what we're gonna do is i'm gonna open up one of these at random and just you know take a look at the figures so i'm not sure if these are going to be on the website yet because they're really going to be cool for like comic cons and stuff but um yeah let's let's have a look oh my goodness so um so you get like six and i think there's six different ones so um, I'm gonna open up one and hope I can get that awesome Pikachu. Like, yeah. So I just like I found the awesome like Japanese distributor of toys and sort of non TCG. So I got my obviously my um, TCG suppliers, but you know I've got I found a distributor for like cool figurines and toys and stuff. And I just thought these looked really epic. So we're just gonna tear into the box and see which figurine we get. Um, yeah, just a different diff something different for Pokey Post. Come on, it's a bit hard to get into. There we go. So let's see who we got. We have got. Oh, guys, look, we actually got the Umbreon. Oh my goodness, okay, so it's very tempting just to, okay, I'm going to, just because it would be cool to see what it looks like, I'm going to open it up and, uh, yeah, I think um, Umbreon's going to be one of the more hyped ones, so what I might have to do with some of the um, the other ones is, I've got several boxes of these little figurines and um, stuff, so what I'm going to do is I might have to mix and match the Umbreon with, or just sell the Umbreon on its own, but let's see if we can put, so he, I think he goes on in here i think so it might not be very entertaining if you're here for trading cards i do apologize got those ev heroes yeah, i just thought because we've got ev ev heroes like i just thought I'd, you know so do you go here i think i think you go like here or, oh my goodness i'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to go but i just thought that looks really neat it's like a cool little umbreon kind of thing there um we might be having some of these to say at brighton comic con july 3rd to the 4th um oh and it comes with a piece of candy as well piece of candy look piece of candy piece of candy so i'm gonna have that later as well so that's really cool uh yeah so the post lots of amazing things we'll get through to the um the big item it's going to be right at the end and that whole stack here that's all from the japanese mail day so once again if you want to find out how to order stuffed pokemon cards and stuff directly from japan please you know head to Head to my website. Okay, so this is just like deck cards and stuff that I purchased recently. So some extra Frost Moths and some nice Galarian Weezings. Because like these are all from Shining Fates. And a lot of people are opening Shining Fates at the moment. So I really like the hollow bleed on that Frost Moth. But yeah, some nice, some nice deck cards there. I might be using Al Creamy VMAX with Shadow Rider Calyrax from Chilling Rain. And uh, yeah, so we'll get to that later. Let's see what's inside this one. Yeah, it's been an absolutely hectic week. We've also got a crap metric crap ton of shining fates coming back in lovely people so please check out my website we've got shining fates um shiny v tins coming in and um finally got those backs of all the people that pre-ordered you can you'll finally get your shining fates v tins hopefully this week um just some bird keepers i was running out of bird keepers so i thought i'd buy some more and uh yeah it'd be exciting so i'm going to save this one i'm going to save this one for right for the end because that's the real wtf epic thing and uh yeah um chilling rain pre-releases obviously i'm sorry we didn't have any chilling rain booster boxes or sort of like pre-release stuff to open but unfortunately had to make sure all of the lovely people from the kiss stuff eastbourne league got them but i did open up 10 random packs and look what i pulled i got the special art zero or a v's and i thought this was an absolutely amazing condition so you can see at the bottom there you got the sneasel and some other pokemon i'm um, just chilling out there i think that's like a weebo or sneasel i'm not sure and you can see there the zero aura it's like from the crown tundra dlc in um uh pokemon sword and shield video games so yeah and um, print quality i must say on these very on these first um first couple of secret rares and v's that i'm seeing are absolutely amazing but that's not the you know that's not the one of the most epic things i'm going to be see you're going to be seeing this week so first we get into the japanese pokey post so lots of awesome stuff directly from japan 
Um, oh, some Gengars, yep. So these will be used to go with the beautiful Gengar from the um, Jet Black Spirit. We've also got some Jet Black Spirit booster boxes on our website, so check out playscapegames.com if you're interested in those. So yeah, I thought the Gengar's going to be popular in the future. It's a nice hollow, you know, might as well pick up some Gengars. Can't, still can't get enough of these beautiful Celebi S... S... 6k i want to say s6k yeah s6k celebi s6k promo or in, well, it's, it's japanese 175 sp but very popular um a lot of the big pokemon influencers are kind of getting a bit more hyped about this and more people are picking these up oh wow <laughs> i did not even realize this was two celebis oh my goodness so it's taped in there i'm not going to take them out at the moment you can check out the um the other pokey post to talk a bit more about the celebi promo but once again, if you want to find out how to buy these directly from Japan and save some money, check out my Patreon. So, there's lots of cool Japanese things now. I think these are just going to be some Porygons. Um, we'll very carefully try and get these these things out of the plastic wrap. So, once, like, with the previous Japanese Mail Day videos, or when those little, you know, those weird green wrapping things, and had to, you know, take them out. So, I think... Um, let's have a look. What's, I think these are just more Porygons. Yeah, loads more Porygon Zeds. Um... Just because why not? I just love this artwork. I'm a big Kamoya fan. You got the, you know, the the artwork there from Kamoya. Absolutely beautiful. Put that in my artist pile. <laughs> so yeah, it's been an absolutely hectic. Um, so we were supposed to have this Poke post up yesterday, but I was wait. Oh no, hopefully we didn't cut into our precious Gyarados there. So this is a lovely um, Gyarados from. Have I have I damaged the Gyarados by trying to cut into it? Let's have a look. Has the Gyarados been damaged in any way? Doesn't look like it. The Gyarados has been saved. Thank God for that. So beautiful um, Cardass um, Gyarados. We did a like huge video on this the other day. Hopefully I can remember to leave a link above. But yeah, beautiful Cardass Gyarados. One of the first Gyarados cards. So we had obviously the Gyarados in base set and Japanese basic in 1996. But I think these came out in like 1997. Very popular cards. And um, yeah, just, just happy to... I'm happy to see this beautiful Gyarados. So there's absolutely lots of amazing stuff. I always see many, many, many wonderful opportunities to buy cards directly from Japan. And I often speak about them, you know, on, on the Patreon, like um, uh, underrated cards of the week. It's a section I do every week about awesome cards. Ah, oh, beautiful, shiny Electro. Just look at this. So these will be really, really, really hard to pull from Chilling Rain because it's a huge set. Chilling Rain is 198 cards plus secret rares. You can see the Japanese set there. 170 plus, you know, 30-ish secret rares from the... I think that's Jet Black Spirit S6K. So, you know, I, I've just been going a bit crazy on some of these Japanese secret rares. Uh, this Electro looks gorgeous. I absolutely love the colouring and, like, the, the contrast and the blue and the white there. And it's just, yeah, absolutely absolutely beautiful shiny electrode there got loads and loads of japanese posts to get through you may see there there's some cds there's actually been someone who sent me pokemon cards in actual cds from japan it's never happened to me before like you see you see actually i had some pokemon cards i think in a in a dvd case from the uk but i think from japan it's the first time i've had one from cds before so what's in here i've got to be extra careful because i don't want to don't want to damage any of the lovely precious cards so what we're going to get here Oop. Oh, it's a tourney. Oh my goodness. So another card from Chilling Rain. We'll get this in English. But it's the beautiful Tornadus special art card. For this one from Silver Lance. So S6H there. I think that's Silver Lance. So the um, another, and we got those also in stock on our website. Placekickgames.com. But yeah, you can see all of the Pokemon there. Just get like caught up in the tourney. You've got Score Bunny. It's a little rock raft for Quillfish. Like, just absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one for Tornadus fans. And... You know, um, Kazumi. Hopefully Kazumi does more of these arts in the future. Absolutely beautiful card. A lot of these are going to get graded. PSA should hopefully be reopening their grading services in July. But who knows if that's actually going to happen. We've also got an absolutely massive PSA graded returns due back from July 2020. So 12 months we've had some cards stuck at PSA. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that will be, you know... Hopefully that will be the end of it and, you know, we'll, we'll get sort of quicker turnaround soon. It seems unlikely because there's going to be a lot of people wanting to send back to PSA and a lot of people storing up cards. And uh, you can see straight away what this is. You can see there's a beautiful full art gold and shiny Snorlax. I've been buying way too many of these, I think. But I just think, again, Chilling Rain is going to be absolutely huge. Um, we're not, I'm not going to open this bracket, but Chilling Rain has been absolutely huge. And, you know, Snorlax is incredibly popular and... Trying to pull, trying to pull this or get this from the English version, you probably set yourself back like 40, 50 pounds if you're lucky. Do you tell popular Snorlaxes? I don't even, I haven't even checked pre-release prices because obviously, Chilling Rain doesn't officially come out until um, 
I just chilly rate come out. Chilly rate comes out on June the 18th, so next week on Friday. So I haven't even checked the pre-release prices yet. Even the Celebi, you can get this um, beautiful full art Celebi. I've talked about this one before, but you can get this full art Celebi um, for like five, six quid in Japan. You know, six, eight dollars, something like that. And who knows how much this is going to be like from Jilling Rain. People trying to complete their master sets and, and all that. So I think this is from the same seller. It looks like a very similar kind of like the one as the, um, as the Snorlax, but... Look at this, a beautiful, um, can we actually show you this one a bit better? Because we've seen the Snorlax one, I don't think we've seen this one before. Rainbow Metagross, so Metagross has quite a few fans. Um, I just thought it was a really good price for this. Um, once again, bought directly from Japan. You can check out my Patreon if you want to see how to do that. Beautiful, beautiful Rainbow Metagross. Some Pokemon look really bad as rainbows. I really like the texture and like the full colour on this one. It absolutely just pops out. I just love Love the um, that Rainbow Metagross. But yeah, it's a huge pile of cards. I could have done a video probably. Do you know what? Actually, maybe the Poke Post. It would have been probably quite a short Poke Post this week if it wasn't um, if it wasn't for these Japanese things. So maybe I couldn't have done a whole video. But yeah, more gorgeous Gengars and some bonus Flabebos, I want to say. Some more lovely Hollow Gengars there. Gengar, for those that don't know, is always in the top 10 most popular Pokemon. Hopefully next week we'll have some of those special Gengar um secret rare promo cards so the, the ones that you can sometimes get from the gengar high class decks that we've got on our website um i think it, the, the pool rates nobody really knows for certain what the pool rates are some people have been saying one in four some people have been saying one in 16 whatever it is it's quite low i just gotta say like it's gonna be i think it might be somewhere in the middle like you know because they come in oh beautiful another gorgeous um shiny suicune I might take it out of the pack. Some kind, some kind of weird. Okay, it opens up at the bottom here. So what they do in card stores in Japan, they will like hang this up on like railings. <laughs> you like, don't see that very much in in like the West, in like in the United States or United Kingdom, but they like to ha ha hang some cards from railings apparently. So there's a nice, beautiful, shiny Suicune from Shiny Starfy. I still want to pull this from Shining Fates, so hopefully I can when I open up some more Shining Fates when my huge restock comes in. From the Shining Fates ETBs. So the Shining V tins will be arriving next, will be arriving tomorrow, and the ETBs should be hopefully later in the week. So we've got here, I think these are just regular Celebi Vs, just because Celebi's popular. I just thought I'd get a few of these, just for like nice binder fillers, maybe get one or two of them graded. Um, okay, how does this open? Oh my goodness. So you should see how like these come packaged. Okay, so. Oh, and it's the V Max as well. Look at that. Beautiful. You got some nice Celebi V and Celebi V Maxes there. Absolutely beautiful cards. Probably mo a few of those will be binders. I might grade one of each of the V and the V Max and then put the rest for binders for, for Comic Con and stuff. So here's what I was saying. Look, it's actually in a CD case. And the CD case has been cracked here. So I hope the. Hope this, let's actually go on a journey. Let's actually open up the CD case. Let's pretend it's the 1990s again. We're, we're buying CDs from the shop and uh, open them up. Like CD ROMs like used to come like this. Oh my goodness. So let's hope that, okay, this Snorlax has actually been taped down as well, my goodness. So let's have a look. Are you okay? You look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, probably not now that I've dropped you, but. <laughs> yeah, so that's just natural curving, probably just from, you know, being shipped at like, an empty space in the CD case and like the, the, the changes in the air pressure and stuff in the plane and the different temp the different like temperatures and stuff but yeah that looks absolutely beautiful in fact i'm going to put all of the shiny gold cards like all together at the back there i can see if i can find them uh where are they i mean we can show them all off at the end with our, our things we've got a night so there's the um electrode i'm so tempted to collect one of each of these but they are quite pricey and yeah this uh, this must be the same seller. like who else would send them in in a cd case like this <laughs> Uh, so this isn't a copy of Worms Night Worms Two for the PC. This is actually a Houndoom, a shiny Houndoom from. I want to say Matchless Fighters. This one's from. Oh no, this is from. Uh, I think Single Strike Masters. So we Single Strike Masters. So the English version of this Houndoom is actually something silly like forty fifty pounds at the moment because people need four copies for the Single Strike deck. I was so tempted to get an English four copies of the English one. I might just go for the pre-release promos because they're a bit cheaper and they still look cool, but. Yeah, Houndoom is actually really popular as well, surprisingly. It's one of the... I don't know if you put it in the top 10 of Gen 2, but definitely like the top 20 of Gen 2. It might be in the top 10 of Gen 2, actually. What's quite funny is that all three of these Pokemon are actually like blue or kind of darkish black and stuff. I've not actually noticed that. That's actually quite funny that all the three of those are, you know... And, you know, Shiny Charizard has got some black, you know, dark dark colours in it. So maybe maybe the Shiny Charizard will be coming in the Japanese sets, the um, a reprint of the Charizard from S4 Volt Tackle, which that would be absolutely incredible. Gives a reason potentially for people to buy, I talked about this in another recent video, it's another CD case with another, 
I, can't, I don't know what's going on here. We got another CD case of another week, and I just put that, yeah, I put that, I put that straight over there. So I wonder what anyone to do with this package. I'm not sure. What should I do with this package? Should I nepo it? I'm gonna nepo this package. Um, right. What's in here? Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna open it this way. Let's have a look. What's actually gonna be in here? I have no idea. Like when you get stuff from Japan, for the most part, like. They, even though like there's some weird packaging like CD cases and stuff, for the most part the car seems to be in really good condition. This one maybe not so much. This doesn't doesn't feel overly like overly thick. So let's see what's let's see what's in here. What's going to be in here? Oh my goodness! What is this? Is it Christmas? Is it past the parcel? Are we gonna you know be playing follow the, follow the leader and then open up a parcel at the end of it? What is going on here? I just want to get to those EV heroes booster packs and the really epic piece of post we got. Oh. <laughs> A bit, I might have gone a bit overboard from the Snorlax. What's quite funny is that, look, like it's a kind of food thing. It's like a Snorlax. Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, I might have gone a little bit overboard on the Snorlaxes, but I still think there's great value in them regardless. Like the prices they are at the moment compared to the English ones. A lot of people just want the art. They're just Snorlax collectors, basically. So what is this? So this isn't Y, y Cross Y Swarce. I have no idea what this is, but there's going to be Pokemon cards in there. A lot of the time, some Japanese sellers like to use um, other, other card games to, you know, ship their cards. So what's going to be in here? <gasps> oh, so I bought a lot of the Celebes already, but I just thought it'd be cool to pick up two of these Sandacondas that go with the Celebi. Where are you, Celebi? Celebi, Celebi. Where are you, Celebi? Here you are. So the... Celebi was given when you bought out two booster boxes of um, Jet Black Spirit, and the Sand the Condor was given out when you were given when you bought um, two boxes of the Silver Lance. So, um, not Silver, yeah, Silver Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit and Silver Lance. Yeah, that's correct. So the Celebi is obviously like four times the price of the Sand the Condor. So I just thought, just because it's a special art promo, you know, it's a promo card. It's got you still got a limited release. I thought I'd pick up a couple of copies potentially get those graded as well so last bit of japanese post here thank you for sticking through this very kind of slow kind of battling with with packaging and post i'm so hyped to open up those ev heroes booster packs oh my goodness these will actually be my first ever ev heroes booster packs I'll talk a bit more about them when we get to the packs um but uh yeah we're waiting for the booster box restock for anyone that's pre-ordered so thank you for everyone that's understanding and you also get a free booster pack yourself when, when the restock comes in right I'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. So, what's in here? Oh my goodness! So this guy. Oh my goodness! Shout out to Quachancy from, um, from the E4 from the from the from the collectors forums. He absolutely loves his chances, and I thought this Blissey, is absolutely beautiful. So it's taped down, but you can see you can get pretty much there. Like you've probably seen this card already. So this is also in Chilling Rain. So another card that if you love Chancy or Blissey or just like collecting special arts, just get the Japanese version. So it'll be a lot more easily accessible i just love how beautiful it is and you can even see there's like chancy and um blissy like in the photos at the top they're really 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 cute right so guys this is what I, this is what i've been like the reason that pokey post was delayed until today so potentially i could have recorded that other stuff and then filmed this save some time but I, yeah so this is going to be the most wtf epic thing you're going to see in pokey post so Chilling Rain only came out, pre-releases only happened, lovely people, the pre-releases only happened, um, when did they happen? They happened September, September, so, so, wait, so, so what am I talking about, September, they only happened last Saturday, so yeah, a couple of days ago, and look what one of our lovely Discord members, Patri patrons and friends, Sai from the Discord, pulled from his um one of his chilling rain pre-release boosters oh my goodness it's the i'm just so happy to see this in person this is i'm not it's not my card but i wish it was but this is the full art special art card you can see their chilling rain number one set so it's actually a, technically a full art it's not even a secret rare but it's probably gonna be just as hard to pull as a secret rare. number 177 the galerian moltres so he actually asked me would i look to if i could grade this for him at um at uh, Beckett's BGS because it would be can you imagine if this actually got a BGS pristine 10 and if it's got a black label on the case that this car would be just look absolutely insane like it'd be like some of those shiny Charizard cards like having a BGS black label like oh my goodness so from f at first glance centering looks pretty decent um I can't see anything obviously wrong with it and uh, 
I can't see any reason why this card wouldn't at least get a pristine 10, but it's definitely, it should be a 9.5 at the very least. I just thought I'd show you how beautiful this card looks. You can see all like those little eyes like in the back there. And it's got like, I also, as, as a fan of Team Valor, like, you know, from Pokemon Go, this also reminds me a lot of the Team Valor logo from Pokemon Go as well. And, you know, next month is the five year anniversary of Pokemon Go. So I'm very excited to get this, um, this lovely Galarian Moltres V graded um, on behalf of my of 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 simon and uh yeah please also check out our discord click link in the description and we're nearly at 250 members and um there'll be something cool that you can win so yeah gonna get that graded and then when it comes back that'll be in a future pokey post so thank you for giving me the chance to grade that for you and uh yeah but here we are it's the ev heroes booster packs so we're going to be doing a booster box and the evv max special collection at some point when they arrive but for now we've got some loose packs to open so these are my first experience opening eevee heroes so in every pack you also get a special puzzle card so you see if you can work it out at home leave a comment below number four what does what's the answer to number four <laughs> um and i think there's like a giveaway where you can win some sleeves or something cool exclusive deck box in japan at the moment so oh yeah we talked about that on our patreon as well okay so let's see if we can get something epic from these packs got a nice for baby oh straight away that's the card i wanted to pull for my artist binder that's sal sal just look how beautiful that's a um, Marrow artwork is there. That's just called the past, those pastel colours and oh it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's going straight in my Oh look, back to back Sal Sal cards. Oh my goodness, two of my favourite cards, absolutely glorious. So happy to see those. Might have to um keep those to the side. So we've got a nice charm to do, do something with the um jolty. I think your attack costs are one less. And oh, okay. Yep, so I missed that one. So hopefully we can get something epic um from these from these Eevee Heroes booster packs. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for, you know, the next unboxing. So what happened basically, Eevee Heroes was in so much demand that they, um, all the suppliers, they said to the people, like, you can either pay like almost double or you can wait for, you know, a restock in the future. And I decided to wait for the restock. So hopefully we'll get that soon. So we've got a nice Electros and a cool, like, Milotic card. Nice little Milotic there. I don't think it does anything overly amazing, but... Hopefully we can pull at least one Evolution V. Um, there's normally from a EV Heroes booster box. I think the, this, these packs came from a so from a guy who was selling loose packs in the UK. I just messaged him like, "How can you send me?" Because he got his stuff really quick. He, you know, he sent me a couple of packs just so I can. Oh, okay, okay. I can see something. I, I accidentally revealed it too quickly. Right, what's it gonna be? We got a nice stadium card. That guy, Sandy Gast. Is there a, oh, there we go. There we go. It's Umbreon V Max. Let's go. Oh my goodness. So this is an absolutely insane card. The Umbreon VMAX has got the new it looks as well as it being an Umbreon, it's collectible and super popular and looks absolutely beautiful. It's got the ability when you evolve it, you can um bring up one of the Pokemon from their bench. So you can choose like it's a bit like um Lycan Rock GX's ability. This is gonna see a lot of play alongside Eternatus as well as you know maybe decks running the Galarian Moltres in the future. I'm very happy to pull this and um yeah, Umbreon, and I've got a whole bunch more Eevee Heroes cards on the way, actually, so keep an eye out for future Poke posts, and hopefully we can pull maybe a special art card as well. That would be absolutely amazing. So we've got some last pack magic, um, hopefully, but that's I'm so happy to pull the Umbreon. That's awesome from just, like, four random booster packs. I think that Umbreon VMAX is, like, £10, £15 pounds in Japan. If you want to buy it separately, I've been buying a lot of Eevee Heroes singles separately, but... Um, just, it's just awesome to get it. So we've got to see what we get here. We've got Gordy, nice Sandy Gas, Time and O. Uh, oh, a nice Entai Hollow. Look at that beautiful Entai Hollow. That's absolutely amazing. But yeah, absolutely stacked week for Pokey Post. Like, where do I even, you know, start with all this stuff? Um, I'll just show you, like, some of my favourites. Got some of those, you know, we've got the Zero Aura that I pulled. So I pulled these um, from PAX this week. I've got some lots of beautiful gold cards. But obviously, guys, it has to all be about that beautiful Galarian Moltres V card. Absolutely amazing. Big shout out once again to Simon from the Discord and the Patreon for, you know, letting me upgrade this for him on his behalf. So please leave a comment below. You know, are you going to be getting any EV Heroes packs? Are you excited for Chilling Rain? There's so much going on at the moment. It's hard to keep, it's hard to keep up with what's going on. But yeah, please leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more. A huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.